हेलो एवरी वन लेट मी आस्क यू ए क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट डू यू थिंक द आंसर्स यू गिव इन द मैनेजर और एच आर राउंड आर करेक्ट सी वी ऑलमोस्ट नो द रिजल्ट ऑफ द टेक्निकल राउंड आफ्टर गिविंग इट बिकॉज वी नो द आंसर्स वी गिव द राइट और द रॉन्ग आंसर इन द इंटरव्यू ओके बट इन मैनेजरल राउंड वी थिंक आवर आंसर्स आर राइट बट मे बी दे आर राइट फ्रॉम आवर परस्पेक्टिव बट फ्रॉम मैनेजर परस्पेक्टिव दे माइट बी रॉन्ग so we do not know this thing actually so then we repeat the same answers in next company and then in next company so today i am going to share you 10 questions which might you be you already know but the answers are important i will show you how i answer these questions in my interviews what is the reasoning behind i gave there so let's start with the first interview question of this video tell me something about yourself this is just a warm up question and asked in every technical managerial or hr round do not worry about it nobody is going to evaluate or you basis on this question just tell your name total experience technology background location domain knowledge if you have and this question is just for making you comfortable nothing more than that so now let's move to the next question tell me something about your current project now this is the question from where the actual interview starts here you should know that the person in person in front of you do not know anything about your project okay so you have to explain him three things about your project first is high level use of the application for the end users second what is your project domain like e-commerce travel retail then telecom finance bon banking anything okay third is tech stack used in your project like dotnet for back end sql server for db and angular for front end then you can also tell the model you follow like the agile waterflow waterfall scrum etc so this is optional now for example if i am giving the interview then my answer will be something like uh, currently i am working in a xyz application which is a banking domain project the purpose of the application is to generate reports based on the credit card in informations the technology we are using is angular for front end .net for back end and sql server for the database and we, we are following a hybrid hybrid agile model for our project that's it now as a manager you know every high level information about my project right that is what the manager wants clarity so remember when explaining the project give high level functionality info domain technology and the model so these are the important thing now let's move to the next question what are your roles and responsibilities in uh, your project now maybe you are working in a team in your current project but here you have to put more focus on yourself uh because they are going to hire only you not your team right so you have to tell something which you are doing for your project uh for 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 example i will answer it something like uh, as a dot net developer my role uh, my role is to estimate the stories and the requirements and then creating the design then development and the unit test cases with the team and finally publish the ch changes in the different environments and also i am supporting the production and live environment by fixing the bugs uh, that's it uh, in addition to that if you have any achievements like uh, you can add it here for example uh, recently i have created one value added tool independently for my client it, it helped my client in sending the automated e alerts to the internal users so this achievement is optional and you can skip this also so if i summarize the answer of this questions the roles and responsibilities as a developer you have to mention the estimation design development unit test cases deployment bug fixing so basically these are all the common roles and uh, which any every developer follow now remember sometimes we manipulate the artifact artifacts for example your project is in older technology like dot net framework and you say it is in the new latest technology like dot net core it is fine but in that case you must know dot net core okay 
you should be able to support your statements with your knowledge all right so that is important otherwise the manager will catch you and that is not good so whatever resume you have manipulated but you should know that okay i know this thing that's why i am putting it here i want to work in, on this thing in future maybe currently we i am using some older technology but that is fine so that is the answer of this question now let's move to the next question explain the technical design of your project here you have to explain what architecture is of your project what are the design patterns you have used is it a three tier architecture or what so for example in my case i will answer it something like uh, my project is a web api which has mvc architecture with the domain driven design and as a dotnet pro core project we use uh, dependency injections for injecting the services entity framework to deal with the database azure active directory and uh, jwt tokens for authentication and authorization azure app insights for logging purpose and x unit for uh, unit test cases and we follow solid principles to achieve loosely coupled design so okay i think this is more than enough information to share you can keep it short also just remove two three points from what i said now here is the key point try to use latest technology words like loosely coupled architecture domain driven design dependency injection some latest tools and the names okay so now manager may not understand them but they will be impressed but uh, again as i said do not say something which you do not understand and you do not know maybe then the manager will ask you the follow up questions and uh, then you will not be able to answer it's okay so all right now there will be a confidence checking question uh, in the next question rate yourself on technical skills out of 1 to 10 it's just a confidence checking question for example he will ask you to rate yourself in c sharp sql dot net angular react javascript now always try to rate yourself as much as you can between 5 to 9 do not rate 10 it's a sign of over confidence and you should always leave some scope for future learning okay and if you are rating yourself something below 5 that means you are zero on that thing and that is a risky answer because they are asking because they need it okay and for example if you think you are 6 on javascript then say 7 show some confidence and confidence is the top most thing required in mr and the hr rounds uh so this is the basic thing and for uh, show your confidence in the interviews otherwise that will be very difficult and uh, the communication thing also will be seen by the confidence only okay so this is the answer of this question so let's let's move to the next question first situation based question manager can ask you is uh, suppose it is the delivery time in your project and therefore you have to work on weekends then what you will do so see nobody likes to work on the weekends and the extra hours nobody right but in software industry sometimes we have less work but sometimes we have extra work so this is not just with software industry but it is true with every other industry also for example uh, retail workers has to work extra time on sundays and in the festival time uh, accountants has to do extra work in the march and, and april financial months same way software uh, engineers has to do extra work in the delivery time so you have to answer something like um, uh, yes if needed i will be there with the project at any point and that is the answer you have to show your positive attitude towards work work now there are four more situation based questions which you have to show which where you have to show the positivity while answering the questions okay these are the four situation based questions can be asked first at last moment of project delivery the requirement is changed then what you will do second somebody resigned from the team and there is extra workload on you then what you will do third you are asked to learn a new technology for a new project and then in that case what you will do and the last one is you are introduced in a new project with a tight deadline client is not happy there not clear requirements what you will do so basically all these lead questions lead to the one question 
डिस्क्राइब द टाइम वेन यू हैंडल्ड ए हाई प्रेशर हाई प्रेशर और द चैलेंजिंग सिचुएशन नाउ इफ यू हैव एवर हैड बीन इन द सच सिचुएशन देन यू कैन गिव द रेफरेंस ऑफ दैट सिचुएशन टू दिस मैनेजर एंड द आंसर ऑल ऑफ देम लाइक विल बी द सेम देन शो योर पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड्स टू अर टूवर्ड्स वर्क हेयर यू हैव टू शो हिम डैट लाइक से हिम लाइक यस यू विल बी देयर विद द प्रोजेक्ट इन डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशंस that is only what managers want uh, are looking for then maybe later you can forget all this discussion who cares right uh, just joking but yes this is right all right i think i covered all the questions uh, what do you say if you think any questions is not covered then please ask in the comment section and i will try to respond it uh, finally don't worry managerial rounds are easy and more candidate are passed uh, in this round as comparison to the technical rounds thanks for watching and all the best for your career and future